A man is dead after an officer-involved shooting early this morning. It happened in front of the food land on Dillingham Boulevard in Kalihi. Bridget Namada follows up. Bridget. Joe Chief Susan Ballard says the identity of the man who died is still pending an autopsy with the medical examiner. She stressed this is still an active investigation and there are still several witnesses that need to be interviewed. It started at Hele Gas Station's convenience store on Dillingham Boulevard. Just before midnight, a man stole two cans of beer. Employees called police. HPD says three responding officers found the man across the street at Foodland's parking lot holding a beer and a knife. There's a bunch of blue lights that came around here like nothing. Neil Blau was sitting in his car nearby when he heard the commotion. Oh, there was a lot of voices like these guys. Hey, hey, hey. You know, guys trying to say it's trying to get the guy to stop or whatever. And then bah, 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 bah. Chief Susan Ballard said the officers gave multiple commands to drop the knife, but instead he raised it and moved towards the officers. One of the officers deployed his taser, but it was ineffective, and two other officers discharged their firearms. Multiple shots were fired, and the suspect was struck several times in the torso and in the right leg. Ballard says no one else was hurt. The man was taken to Queens Medical Center, where he later died. The officers who fired their weapons were put on administrative leave. This marks the 10th officer-involved shooting on Oahu this year. Five have been fatal, a troubling statistic for the chief. For the officers out there, um, you know, they are doing, uh, you know, everything they can. They don't want to use, um, you know, uh, um, uh, lethal force. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, um, I'm, the, the trend is just very disturbing out there that the fact that, um, you know, these things are happening, that, you know, people are pointing weapons, that they're um, using, uh, uh, you know, actively trying to use knives against the officer. Um, but, you know, the officers uh, are, you know, doing what they can. They tried to get the, this gentleman to drop his knife. They're not listening. And so, um, you know, they can't, you know, they can't wait until they make an overt act because then it's going to be too late and the officer's life could be taken. According to the chief, the stun gun had a camera attached to it. I asked if she plans on releasing that footage to the public. She said she plans to as long as it doesn't harm the investigation. Reporting live from police headquarters, I'm Bridget Amata. Joe.